Hi everyone, I'm, uh, I'm going to talk through the A-level physical education PowerPoint and obviously the, the choice for yourselves potentially for parents and students um, and just to give you a bit more information on what the course entails and who it would suit best. Obviously if you have any further questions then please feel free to uh, to contact me to give the school a ring or to uh, to contact via email. Okay. Right, I'm just going to talk over the PowerPoint just so you get that information. So A-level physical education, ultimately, if you've got an interest in sport, then, uh, there's a number of career pathways which are beneficial after A-level PE. The amount of courses available at university now are considerable. Obviously, you've got things like your physical education teacher, your sports coach, your physiotherapist, but there's a number of new careers now which are developing uh, performance analysis, um, sports science opportunities, nutrition. Um, it really is a fantastic course and it can provide a number of opportunities moving forward. It's also a widely recognised qualification by all universities. So students who can go to Loughborough, Bath, Cardiff Met, all the top uh, sports universities across the country. Okay, the way the course is split, um, ultimately it is 40% practical and 60% theory overall. Um, and these, these are the individual weightings. The practical involves an element of coursework, performance um, as in one sport, and then obviously uh, a small element of coaching in AS. When you get into year 13, you are able to specialise as an official, a coach or a performer. Just as an, an example, we've had a number of gymnasts over the last few years who have performed at AS and then decided to coach at, um, at A level. So there's a few opportunities for you there. There is one exam in year 12. You can see this is 60% weighting of AS and then obviously the, uh, the practical element there as well. When you get into year 13, same again, there is one examination at the end. So all new content and you'll sit one exam paper, which is two hours. And as mentioned, then we've got our direct practical assessment. The advantage of this course, if you are very strong practically in your one sport, then you can get that direct impact on your result. Um, and obviously playing inside of school and outside of school will only be beneficial in terms of your, uh, your performance. Subject content, so there are four main topic areas, exercise physiology, performance analysis and training. So this is all to do with anatomy. We look at things like the heart, the respiratory system, the muscular system, the skeletal system. Performance analysis will look at the role that video analysis and notation analysis plays in sports now, how coaches use this to provide feedback to performers and how they make improvements. And then obviously the impact on training, so the types of training to get the benefits for athletes. Sports psychology and skill acquisition, um, obviously again provide a broad base and, and can offer different specialisms as they move forward. And then sport in society, so they're current topics which are coming up within, uh, within sport and their impact within society. If you go on WJC's website, the specification is there and all the activities available. But here is a general list of the sports available. Now, quite often we have a number of questions with these. So if you would like to ask anything, then please get in contact. And a reminder, you only need to have one sport for, uh, for a level. I'll leave these up so you can have a little look. Just a reminder that all practical must be seen in a competitive environment. So ultimately, you, if you are a games player, you need to be competing for a team on a regular basis um, in an ideal world inside and outside of school. If you're an individual athlete, then you need to be doing this on a regular basis outside of school and competing. I appreciate at the moment with COVID, things are very complicated. Um, and obviously we're trying our best. We hope in time that that will, uh, that will change and more sports will open up. Um, but at the moment, the course is still running and we cover the activities we can under the National Government Body Guidelines. So you can see the way this, the activities is, is uh, assessed. Practically, it's out of 24 marks. 
And obviously we want our students to be hitting as many of these as possible. So uh, that excellent and that band four is obviously where we want to be aiming for or high band three in terms of performance. A very good school performer can achieve band form. It doesn't have to be the case that you are playing regionally or internationally to necessarily hit band four. Obviously that will be advantageous and probably guarantee your performance at uh, band four. But obviously a very good school performer can still get to band four. As mentioned at AS, you will do a small element of coaching. So ideally we'll link you up with a school team or club outside of school and you'll do an hour a week ideally where you start to build up your coaching skills, which is really beneficial. Or you can take the role of an official, whichever one you prefer. We tend to look at coaching, but if somebody is already specializing as an official, then that's fantastic as well. Obviously we can use that. For the coaching, you simply need to provide a 20 minute video so we can either film you in school, deliver into one of our younger year groups, or you can bring that evidence in from outside of school. But we will build throughout the year and practice until you're ready to do that assessment. Right, suitability. The criteria on the course, ideally, we would say that you would have a B in the theory paper of GCSEP. Um, and the reason for that, or obviously a merit grade at, um, at our sport course or BTEC sport. And the reason is just so you can cope with the theory demands and those two examination papers. Um, and obviously, ideally, we need a, a strong to good practical performance in one activity. So whereas GCSE, you need the three sports for A level. It's just that one specialism. Right, if you have got any further questions regarding the course, then um, then please get in contact. As mentioned, any students who've performed well at GCSE, they will really enjoy the A-level course. Um, it has that scientific element. Sometimes it can be seen as maybe not one of the sciences, but I think it offers a nice variety, especially when you've got to choose four A-levels. Um, it's a really good course, a nice mixture of practical and theory, um, and obviously a really enjoyable element. So if you do have any questions, please ask. If not, all the best. Thank you very much. And I'll see you soon.